So people, yeah. I wouldn't believe that. I can yeah, see yeah. that happening. It totally that seems very that. realistic. Yeah, that's it's probably the most like believable thing. Yeah, yeah. that is. Indeed. I well, what's up, you beautiful people? This is Gary Horde. This is this is the NWA. The show celebrating the past, present, future, history, legacy, and tradition of the greatest pro wrestling entity of all time. Of course, we're talking about the National Wrestling Alliance. Kyle, you're already shaking your head. Because it always just confuses me when you say this is this is the like it's yeah that's the name it's like a, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's like a double obvious. thing like welcome to this is that see welcome you could say instead oh, of this is this is national broadcaster oh, over here throw over here Gary works very hard you don't need to throw him under the bus off the top of the show I, I will say that I do it on purpose of you you look great your beard makes you look fantastic I hate myself right now so whatever criticism I'm giving you is just because I'm a miserable prick who's suffering with depression anyway, let's do this it's just okay. a remix, Kyle. It's just a remix. That's why he says it. Wiki, 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 wiki. That's it. That, yeah. 100%. D well, DJ wow. Gory Bone. Wow, we are off the rails. Ladies Wait for the drop. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, on the positive note, can I just DJ say that, Gary uh, and Kyle Lover. We've got a lot of people already in the chat, so I want to say what's up. Cosmic Joe there, Francisco, Richard C., uh, Chris, David, Willie. That's connecting right. DJ people DLZ, to right. Dude, uh, Wes and Mandy and Mike and Axel and I could just say all your names, but it's so there's so many already. So it? thank you all for being here with us. This is this is great. We're happy to have you here, and uh, we look forward to talking to you about everything going on with NWA 75, everything going on with NWA Power, and of course our special <laughs> guest is going to join us here in a bit. Uh, deals. Yes. Well, you know what we've been doing. So let's go ahead and give them a little taste of last week's DLZ. Let's do it. Hey, what's the gig? It's the deal man. Johnny on the spot. Actually, Danny on the spot. Candy sends me all the gossip. I already know most of it. Mims is on the way to the hospital. That's not shocking. I hear some people talk about Silvio's scumbag for his actions tonight. Uh, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. It's not for me to say. Hold on a second. Hold this for me real quick. All right. Um, right. Let's see. We got, uh, yeah, 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 we already know about that. Tyrus is still out with injuries. Apparently, he's going to be at 75 against EC3. Uh, lastly, uh, yeah, can, uh, Vine, we get carry in the main tonight. Yeah, we know that the Vine was uh, fined and, instead of suspended for his intrusion in the fixer's uh, specs. Uh, specs? Oh, yeah, spectaculars. Come on, Candy, shorthand. I can't read that. Hey, Tommy Latmer, come here. Hey, hey. Hey, you know, you're getting closer to that lucky seven, Daddy-O. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Right, you know, yeah. 75 around the corner. I'm but you're getting... Love you. Love you. You got to get that lucky seven and beat Tyrus' ass and become the new world's men's heavyweight champion, whatever you call it. I'm worried about mine all the time, but he'll, he'll get the big one. What a scoop right here on the DLZ. Let's see May Valentine get that. Danny deals with the scoops. Look Isn't at it? that. Yeah, Danny, you're so good at everything. Hey, now, really. see, we, we can't give Gary too much jib for the this is, this is. C Camille doesn't even know the name of the damn title. She was like, the, the interstate the men's title. <laughs> In her defense, uh, I'll say that she probably looks at her own title as the world's championship. So it kind of confused her for a second, maybe. That Kyle, I got to give you another one of these. I got thank uh, you. I got a huge uh, NWA box. Whoa! Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh oh, I just heard. I've got a huge. I was like, where are we going with this? I almost said hey, Gary, a huge Gary got all kinds of stuff. There's a there's a new bundle in there. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I haven't even had a chance to go through it yet. It's been a busy day, but uh, I am I am excited to go through everything that I got there. And uh, I know I got some banners to go on these windows. So uh, there's we'll, some uh, new stuff coming that I sent you some pictures of. Only a couple uh, things, Gary. Yeah, did you, you did. You did. And I have those <laughs> right here. Well, first off, we have this. There it uh, is. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's your then, top right to the right. I'm telling you, people camp. keep buying that pretty empowered shirt. Camp's in action. Yep. yep. And uh, what about these shirts, Danny? Tell us Whoa. about those. Whoa. Leaves. Whoa. Yeah, see that 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 three quarters baseball tee right there, officially known as a Ragland. Uh that that shirt, that's a well, Jared Fritz can finally leave me alone. He's been asking for one of those for about two years. <laughs> <laughs> those things would be available. 
I will make those available. Those will be available for pre-order tonight. I should have them within within 10 days or so. So, uh, but I, I will make them available for pre-order soon. They're actually not officially on the website yet, but I just sent it to you so you could get a scoop there, Gary. I let you, you're, you're kind this of, what you know, happened. Yeah, this is the live stream. You never know what you're going to find out. You're going to find out about new merch in the store, including, I mean, if you haven't pre-ordered this already, check out the Southern Whoa, Six brother. there. Look at that. Yeah. Hey. That shirt will be here very soon, too. That one's on the way. So few of them. Actually, it's getting pretty low, actually. It's under, uh, it's under. I can't remember the exact number, but I've sold quite a few of those already. So that'll yeah, be here um, soon. It's a pretty hot shirt, Daddy. And that's a uh, angry lemonade design. He did the design, that. yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. To, uh, you're working with him there on some of the deals. So I, I like just that. did the design. I figured you'd go crazy since Thrillblades is boy. Yeah. And he did and a really good design. Actually, Alex Taylor inspired majority of that design that it comes from. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Did Alex mm -hmm. draw it? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, no. refreshing sodas. No, yeah, he but he said he sent me a picture that it was based off of. Oh, He's like, I got this will look cool. I said, I got you. Hold on a minute. And then well, said, hey. uh, the other thing we shouldn't mention right up on the top of the show here is if you haven't already, if you're gonna be in the area, NWA seventh anniversary coming up August 26th and 27th. Tickets are selling fast. You got to get over there, get your tickets, and uh, if you can't be in the area, of course that show is gonna be on Fight. It'd be real cool of you to do the pre-order and uh, get in on that action. Uh, we're also going to be at in Nashville uh, the uh, next days, 28th to 29th for TV there and uh, Skyway Studios. A lot of you have been there already, I know, in the chat. So we uh, hope you'll join us for that. All those tickets are all available on sale right now, nwatix.com. Don't, uh, don't miss out on that. Let's see. Anything else we needed to cover? Well, on a somber note, we should. David, you're made... correct. All right. What's ahead. that? No, no. Well, I was... he's, he's looking at the chat. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Uh, today oh, uh, was the Heart passing breaking. of Adrian Street, uh, a former territory wrestler. He was a part of the NWA, I believe, a former TV champion. And, Way ahead of uh, his time. Yeah. Decades yeah. ahead of his time. But uh, we uh, send our condolences to his family and fans. <laughs> Everywhere, we wanted to make sure to mention him uh, at this time. Also, uh, Paul Rubens, which yeah, I know Peter Kyle Rubens. was very bummed out about. Peter also, Rubens. Angus Cloud, who was uh, Fez on uh, on Euphoria on HBO, oh, passed yeah. away what today. And uh, and one of those guys who likes to do all the free climbing on like skyscrapers. Oh, Hong Kong. Mm. I saw that actually. Also, but kind of not unexpected when that line of work. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just was still. it from that? Yeah. Uh, uh, last time anybody saw that dude, he was knocking on, I think they said, a 64th floor window and startled somebody to call the police. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, All that right. wasn't the guy who did for the Instagram followers. He was on the roof of the thing and he went, Is that the same dude? Oh, maybe that's what happened. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. On a positive note, Gary. Don't Occupational hazard there. But on a positive note, we're all here. Yeah, yeah. leave the memories alone. Hey, you know what? Uh, Take the good with the bad, the sweet and the sour, and you appreciate the moments. And hey, we could all be here together right now. Good old Kyle, bring it to be with you. We also have a special guest. <laughs> That's the fun thing about depression, it comes Positive full circle. Kyle. Positive Kyle, PK in the house. Well, hopefully, our guest will put you in a better mood, Kyle. Um, and yeah, we're watching NWA Power this past week. Uh, some crazy stuff went on. A lot of cool, hard hitting matchups. One ended. I think in a way that nobody expected. And uh, that was with Jax Dane and BFT Cartage. And, uh, well, actually, I have a clip of that. And on the other side of that, we're going to be joined by former uh, NWA national champion, U.S. heavyweight champion, world champion. world's heavyweight champion, Jax Dane. Well, I, he yeah. saved the best. For, it was like the Yelp main event. straps, too, I believe. Oh, yeah. Okay. With Grimmy. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I think he held oh, with Rob Conway too, right? Oh, maybe, yeah. In Japan, yeah, Jack's day. I don't a, remember. I think he. Like, no, I think he's a crowd. Full, he's a, he, I think he hit for the cycle. Okay. He didn't have the junior heavyweight yet, so maybe well, he'll go after that next. Or women's tag for that matter. Yeah, he hasn't had that. There's uh, there's always time. I uh, I didn't the clip for some reason aired out, so I had to uh, stall for for a second. Oh, so boy. 
I don't know what happened. That, 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 it's the main cha- main oh, channel man. press you're getting. I'm really happy with you. <laughs> yeah, look at Chris pointing it out. Triple crowd champion, Jax Dane. Quadruple. So, uh, quadruple, yeah. I'm not going to argue. That Scott sounds like something he'd do. Jax to be the world champion right now. Look at that. So there you go. Um, all right. Well, uh, let's. Uh, as soon as this clip finishes processing, we'll throw it at that so you can see what happened on Power if you haven't already. If you're not following us on social media, by the way, this clip was on there and Jax had a lot to say in the caption on that clip or in the comments. So you should check that yeah, out. Been out. Joe Galley, too. So I'm excited to uh, see that interaction since uh, Joe Galley had a lot to say. But anyway, if you missed it, this is what happened. Now, Jax loads him up. Sent him in. His turn. Ring. Yeah, his turn throwing him back in. And again, Aaron Stevens. Aaron Stevens on the outside. He's got the loaded glove. He the hit loaded him with glove. It. He got him. Oh my he God. got him with it. Jack Stane. He's seeing stars. He's out. Now he may be actually. He may actually be knocked out here. You see Silvio coming over and checking. The manager having got a little stare down here. Kevin yeah, Keenan, we've seen this. Referee yeah. Yeah, that, administering the count. Jack Stane. He's trying to recover after being punched in the face by that loaded I think, glove. I think Jack Stane is shook on this one. I don't. Uh, Silvio's you know, trying to I do everything he to be, can to get him back in this match. I don't think I've, I've never seen Jack Stane like look this week where he's been in a position where where he's where he's been not gotten not back to the ring. The winner of this match via countout, BFT Carnage. Big time victory for Carnage, but staring daggers at Tim Storm after Jack Stane was unable to beat the count. Obviously a lot of animosity in the history between Tim Storm and Jack Stane there, but. All right, well, there oh. you see it. And uh, joining us right now is uh, the Dane event himself, uh, Mr. Jack Stane. And uh, we, we welcome you, sir. Thanks for being here. And uh, I don't I think know you got to unmute him, Gary. Uh, did I, I make him angry right off the bat? What do you do to us? Gary, come on, brother. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't me. I don't know. Oh, all, right, all right. You're unmuted. Sorry. I apologize. Yeah, you muted Jax to start. The I show. would not do that on purpose. I guarantee you. I bet you Tim put him up to it, Jax. Tim Storm put him up. Yeah. Just another one of Corgan's guys, man. Just yeah. just whatever. Just yeah. whatever. Uh, well, Mr. Dane, thanks for being here. And uh, obviously, that's not the way you wanted that match to go with Carnage. And, why? Uh, so th- Tell me why. Well, uh, first of all, there was the interference that was obvious there from Aaron Stevens, I would say. I think and I was then, pretty much in control of that match, wasn't I? You were, you were doing some uh, damage to use it. If it was a match, you were in control. Right. Exactly. Nice look, Kyle. Sleeveless shirt, tattoos, bald head. I just got to get the chest tattoo going now. I notice you've really been building that out there, and I'm jealous. I didn't have to say anything, but you know, you know. Yeah. You look okay. Oh, Thanks. Like- One day. One day I'll have arms. Right on. Not you can, now. You can, um, you can strap your legs onto where your arms are, and you'll be closer. Damn right. One okay. day. Right on. uh, Mr. Joe Dan. Gallagher. Joe Gallagher. Couldn't, oh, yeah. couldn't beat the count was not the appropriate language there. I'm going to give you an opportunity to correct the record. Is Chose that... not to beat the count. Mm. So what? Go on record and, and correct. Well, I can't read your mind, Jax. I mean, I don't have telepathic powers. All I could see is what's happening in front of me. So obviously, if it was a choice on your part, why did you make that choice? Well, I mean, you tell me why. You heard the commentary, right? Weak. There's a lot of things Jax Dane is. Weak is not one of them. Now, I have a ton of respect for Tim Storm. A lot of battles with Tim Storm. A lot of fights with Tim Storm. But I have zero respect for Tim Storm, the commentator. Tim Storm, the commentator, can hide behind the table. He can hide behind the purple jacket and the world title pin on his lapel. He can hide behind Joe Galley and Billy Corgan. I have no respect for commentator Tim Storm. So Tim Storm needs to choose his words a little wiser, much like yourself, Joe Galley. 
I, it seems like this heat between you and Tim, it's just never ending as we're getting some sort of a, that is an emergency warning. I don't know if everyone else is hearing that. I got that too. So That's so got some emergency heat, heat coming through. We got a kidnapped child in Volusia County. Oh, well, thanks for that news update, Kyle. You're yeah. welcome. I would have kept rolling with it that that was a, a hot topic. Oh, I'm Obviously, sorry. The main event has to set the alarm for this. Look, we've, we've talked about it before, and we've seen it on NWA programming throughout the entire Lightning One era. I thought this this beef was squashed between you and Tim. No beef. Why is there beef? Beef, that's a junior high word. There's a little bit of tension, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of a guy that gets to sit behind the table and talk about the ones in the ring fighting the battles. And he wants to take a cheap shot at Jack's Dane, call him weak. Come on, man. Tim Storm's better than that. I mean, but it's easy when you got the corporate protection. Mm -hmm. Tim Storm does not want to fight Jack Dane, and quite honestly, Jack Dane has no need to fight Tim Storm. He's in the rearview mirror. He's a commentator. Beating Tim Storm in some kind of fight, wrestling match, is of no interest to mine. I don't want that match. I don't need that match. What I, I beat him, I move up in the rankings. No, there is no Tim Storm versus Jack Dane. So don't even put it on the radar. Not gonna happen. I would like to see it though. He's I, a thug and he assaulted me, and it was well. Awesome. It's so it, it's everybody it's, saw it. I'm glad you're bringing this up, Danny, because I just to you know respectfully push back a little. I mean, I, I will say that for those people who don't know, we talked about Jack Stane is a former world's heavyweight champion, the man who beat you for and that wait, title. Wait, get all of them in. All oh. World's oh, heavyweight champion, former national heavyweight champion, former U.S. champion. No, Gag. North American. Do your homework. North American. Tag, sorry. Tag champ with Rob Conway, not Crimson. I mean, do your homework, Gary. Yep, you're right. You're right. I apologize. I should be on that. But runner up in Nathan's hot dog eating contest. I mean, let's. Um, the the other thing. I almost that, broke him. I, I almost broke him. I was can't break Jacks. You're, you're pretty good at eating. Dogs. That's why I look like me and you look like you, baby. One Al day. Davis, the glizzy guzzler. You also <laughs> have the you also have the soul taker. Uh, well, the, the, the other the thing I was taker. gonna mention. <laughs> you, you ever see that, Gary? Gary said he wants to see it up close and personal. He's never no, pop the trunk. Pop pop the trunk. I don't the, want I don't want to be around the trunk when it gets popped. <laughs> I'm just saying. The first time, you know, you're you're making all these joke deals, and I don't know how friendly you guys still are, but I was going to mention that also the first time. Tim Storm, I got hit with a chair in the head. Dill's fault. Where was he? Uh, it just seems like I can't get good representation. You beat me up for like five minutes in the ring. You left me out there. Should have been Tim. <laughs> Tim's a thug for even putting his hands on me. So, so there's and none of you guys what we're trying to say. Gary didn't you, come out of the seats and save me. No, I was watching as a fan and observing. I was happy to see the match. And uh, I, know that, Mike that Posey. I think it was Mike. Yeah, My what, point is, is there's violent history. What you got to realize is that was Tim Storm, the wrestler. Tim Storm, I mean, uh, for all intents and purposes, you can call Tim Storm a legend, accomplished, former world champion. Legendary Tim Storm, the perfect storm. That was who I wrestled the first match. Now Tim is a commentator. He yeah, but it's not him no more, Jax. He can't get in there with you anyway. It's over. Exactly. So, so let's talk about 75. Who am I wrestling at 75? There's a lot of guys that need opponents. I don't know. It sounded like it would, earlier it sounded like it was gonna be Joe. <laughs> <laughs> to stand up for my commentary partner, <laughs> Tim Storm. Still has a very aggressive wrestling schedule. I, I don't think he's really lost a step in the past few years in the times that he's wrestled you on, on ah, NWA Power Programming. It's over for him. It's been a couple of years, Joe Galley, and you said it when you started that very sentence. I'm taking up for my friend, my commentary partner, not my professional wrestling partner. So you, you think there's nothing left in the tank? Tim needs to know his role. No. He's not. Oh, feed him feed him to the wolves, but not this wolf. It does nothing for me to wrestle Tim Storm. No. Get him out of here. Fair enough. Um, well, there is an open challenge at NWA 75. I mean, there's... Whoa. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, I like that. Now you're talking. Also, I, I don't think 
anybody's been announced for the TV title either. I could add that one to the collection. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. A lot of opportunities. Yeah. Tom Latimer and Jack Stay. Or I could just sit back and watch my great team, uh, Silvio, beg for the NWA Junior Championship match. I mean, that seems to be what he's concerned about. And true, I mean, who knows what he's doing? I mean, well, it, it, you, you say that uh, not to cut you off, Jax, but that's actually something that's that's coming up in the chat a good bit. Is people were pointing out that Aaron Stevens had this loaded glove. It was pretty obvious to us watching from home that uh, you were. Uh, he he attacked you, and where you know more so than even Aaron Stevens, people are asking where was Silvio in this. And you the, tell me, he was probably um, trying to politic with Corrigan to get that junior tight title shot, or somewhere hyping up Troop like he's the next big thing. I mean, I don't know who who cares where he was at at this point, right? And 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 let me tell you, that loaded glove is legit, but it didn't knock me out. That's true. You you <laughs> were still you were still going afterwards, so. And chose not to climb back in the ring. Chose, that, Joe. chose not to break the count. Right. So, so Joe, do you want you want the <laughs> time to correct the record? Well, now through uh, further interviews and analysis by talking to you, and, and not in the moment where I am unable to be uh, telepathic and read your thoughts. I, I don't buy that, Joe Galli. You're the best wrestling commentator in the world. Yeah, but I, I don't know what's going on in your brain. So now that we've cleared this up. <laughs> there wasn't even modest about it. He was like, yeah, okay, everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> but here's the, here's, the, here's the big deal is you chose, but when was that choice made? Was that choice made after the glove made contact with your skull? Or was the choice made or was the choice made – when Tim Storm used some rather derogatory language to describe your actions and your in-ring of appearance. Tim Storm said weak. I've never seen Jax Dane look weak. That's when I chose. That's when it was made personal. That's when I was distracted. And, and look, beating Carnage, what does that do for me? Nothing again, right? Ooh. So now what? Let hey, me- I got to say, I mean, it's a... Joe, as as a friend, I mean, yeah, he's he's got a point. I mean, the tag team title matches are already announced, so that's not in the cards for seventy five. Uh, and then he was clearly on his feet, and conscious, but it was yeah, conscious. And then it was this comment by Tim Storm, and I, and I gotta say, as much as I respect Tim Storm, I don't know why he would use that verbiage. Because he's uh, behind right. the table now, he doesn't. He knows he doesn't have to answer for it. It's he like Twitter. He knows just, it. He's or sitting, or watching, sitting there watching yeah. his man live out his dream. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think it was. He knew. Do you think? You think Tim Storm's jealous of what you're doing? Uh, jealous is it's a pretty strong yes. <laughs> okay. And and just. Wow. All right. Well, those are big words. I mean, that's uh, we'll have to we'll have to see if we can get Tim on sometime. Joe only has two syllables in it, Gary. I mean, it's not that big of a word. Okay, but I mean, we're talking about also a former world's heavyweight champion, a man who's gone toe to toe with Jack Stane. He's had a lot of achievements in his career. To assume that he's jealous of what Jacks is doing, I mean, that's a bold statement. It's 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 as I would almost say as bold of a statement as Tim saying you look weak. So there's. I don't know. The boldest statement a human has ever made in the history of man. Jax Dane looks weak. Jax Dane looks like a lot of shit. But we. (laughs) Somebody's going to take that out of context. What? I mean, what? When when that happened, I expected (laughs) swinging, but you kept your composure, and I know it's not worth. Why would. Why would I swing? What do I have to prove? Can't hit a senior citizen, Gary. Come on. Okay. No, now that's not fair, Deals. As Joe got said, <laughs> Tim Storm is still very active and competitive on the independent circuit. All right. But he has to watch me in the NWA ring, and that eats him alive. That eats him alive because he has to tell the world that I'm a former NWA world champion, a former – NWA national champion, a former North American champion. I unified those titles against him. 
mm-hmm. former NWA World Tag Team Champion. He has to live that every day. So Jack's day is weak. It's the best he can do. Uh, right now, you've got a lot of the chat, I got to say, agreeing with you that they're uh, saying that this does nothing. You know, right now, if Tim's going to sit behind the commentary uh, table. Well, like this one right here. Nothing. Announcers versus Dane handicap match. I won't be on the call that night with you, Jim. Nope, nope. No, I do ring announcing. That doesn't count. <laughs> We're good. Doesn't count. But uh, if that were the case, I would choose myself uh, to uh, let the count reach to 10. Yes. <laughs> would I think idea. Jax would probably make sure you were unable to beat the count. Nah, Gally's smarter than you wouldn't even climb in there. But look, that's true. It's enough about me, man. Let's talk about the card. All yeah. right. Okay, yeah. All right. Card. All right. You want to run through the card? We can do yeah, that. let's run through the card as we know it, and we'll get right. the picks from Jax. Jax is like Jax the Greek. Right? I like this. This is a unique way of doing this. This is a great idea from uh, the Dane event here. Uh, well, we have one match we haven't talked about before on the card that we've had announced. This is for the pre-show. Uh, we have an official graphic for it, and it is Zion oh. is going to be taking on Jordan Clearwater here. You are the father. Yeah, that is going to be on are the night. Nice Jordan one. Clearwater is Austin Idol's son? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's 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 Zion is. I think that's I, the one who's in the Florida territory. Idol is the, Idol's the wild card here, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is what he refers card. to his genitals as. Yes. Okay. Who you got in this match, Jack? <laughs> Who you got in this one? Uh, the fans win this match. All right. <laughs> All right. Then another match that just kind of came out of the blue here, but it's going to be intriguing is Homicide taking on Joe Whoa. Alonzo. This Homicide. One. Could have offered to a nicer kid. I can't wait for, for Joe Alonzo to experience Homicide. Homicide. Poor ass whooping he's going to take. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he's uh mm. he's cocky enough that uh that that, that don't mean shit, good for him. <laughs> well, well, here's the intriguing one that you know with having Jax on the panel tonight right now uh could could be talked about. Uh, how about this? We know that Matt Cardona Ooh. does have that open challenge on night one, of the NWA seventy five. We think Jack, old Matthews calling everybody out. He ain't called me out. <laughs> well, he could. Well, he, yeah, good. Yeah, I, so we're saying he purposefully did not name Jack Stane in this match. Yeah, maybe he's too. Maybe he's too scared. Yeah, could be. I'm too scared, so you're scared. And uh, Jack Stane, we've we've pointed out so far, answers only only is concerned with matches that are going to benefit him in the long run uh, in his career here. So yeah. maybe he maybe. Matt Cardona with no gold is small potatoes for him. So we'll see. Uh, or maybe he's, he's just teasing us. Here's, here's one that a lot of people in the chat were saying well, well, they well, wanted. You should strike that from the record, man. Matt Cardona is small potatoes for nobody. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, 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 I did. And you didn't say that. Take that back and go to the next match. You're right. I apologize. Uh, how about this one? National Heavyweight Championship. A lot of people in the chat wanted to see uh, you eventually get a, a shot at this as well. Since you've already been the national champ national- twice. Why do it a third time? Yeah. That's a good point. Well, who, uh, who do you got here, Jax? Who, who do you who do you think? You think Croutons, Spray Paint Brother, or Billy Thrill? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say the fans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That is all right. Fans are uh doing well. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this announcement? I, I wonder what a guy like Jack Stain thinks about the announcement we had uh, this past week that Violet J from the Insane oh. Clown Posse is going to be managing or scheduled to appear with the Brothers of Fudstruction. I don't think you've crossed paths with them that much, really, but what are your no, thoughts? I, I, I love this. I love, um, I love the variety that the NWA presents to its fan base. And Jax Dane, secret juggalo, right? Come on now. Mm. Come on, homie. Love the variety, the NWA. <laughs> <play. laughs> I like this. I, like I this. think if, if something were to happen to Tim Storm, I think we have our new broadcast colleague right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Jax, there's a title that, you know, again, always with respect, that I don't think you're ever going to hold. and that's The, the NWA Women's Television Championship. Well, there is that one, but this time around, Kyle, I was referring to the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship that uh, is going to be uh, Kerry Morton defending against Colby Carino 
with Jamie Stanley in his corner. That's Hope he looks excited there. Um, I've, I have I've, I've sort of played this card a couple of times tonight, but seriously on this one, fans, literally. And no no bullshit, not trying to be funny. This this literally will be the match of the night, match of the entire weekend. Both these guys are wow. too Um I'm, I, I got to be honest, I'm pulling for Colby. Uh, but Kerry Morton is is next generation, right? I mean, it is what it is. And seriously, the fans win. With it. Will you be watching this one close on the monitor with Sylvia? Uh, the fans win this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, how about this one? Uh, you've obviously had some interactions we've discussed uh, with some of these folks. La Rebellion. Defending the NWE World Tag Team Championships, they've held that the, at the time of '75, I believe they've uh, they'll they'll have had it almost two years uh, combined. This yeah, and, I mean that's that's that, that's such a long run, well deserved and earned, and, and uh, but man, to be champion that long, to be successful that many times, to pull it off one more time when they're wrestling two of the biggest spots in the Bay, and then obviously. The, the greatest manager that the NWA has right now, even though he snuck me from behind with that bullshit glove. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and go with the fans. <laughs> all, right, all right, I like that. I like that. Consistent. Just, Aaron just, Stevens uh, in that glove, though, man, I'm telling you. A choice out of left field. I know Vampiro's a Dracula, but, you know, I don't know. Well, can he load the glove with silver? If he does, Ooh. holy water, those boys are oh. done. Oh, Still, Joe, silver is for werewolves. He needs he got werewolves in the ring. Oh, oh. he's going to have to have two gloves then. Yes. Silver and garlic. One but if you watch the hammer horde, Dracula didn't like silver either. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, and that's true. You got a mecha wolf and a vampiro there in Bastia, which is yeah, he's a demon. Uh, what the hell? Go out and say that um, Luke Evans is the greatest vampire of all time, too, by the way. Whoa. Okay. Another bold choice from Jack Stane. All right, how about NWA Women's Whoa. World Champion? One time. One time, just One like time. that, just that quick. One time, I mean, she is who she is. One time. I've said it a number of times on the show, you don't make money betting against Camille. So that uh, is like the, what is it, hmm. 96 Bulls or whatever season that was? This is like Nat's 18th shot at the title, too. Uh, one yeah. time yeah um all right and then uh all we know about night two are two matches so far we know this one whoever wins at a blunt force trauma and la rebellion are going to be taking on Knox and murdoch who Knox and murdoch cup Knox and murdoch come on jacks you got history with both them boys yeah i um oh those are your ovw cousins mm. This one's tough, but I, I'm going to have to go with the fans. All right. All right. Shocker. All right. I, I just – I can't imagine – right now, as of right this second, Knox and Murdoch do not have a match on night one, and they're going to be fresh but, as a daisy yep. with whoever walks in. That's um, – you're, you're exactly right. I mean, if the Wolves survive that night, man, they, they got to walk into this. If Blunt Fort Chamber survives the Wolves, they got to walk into this. I mean – we can see a double title. Switch. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it happened. This uh, two title changes in back to back nights, or or no title change. I mean, that's so compelling and interesting to follow. I'm, I'll be peeking through the curtain on these. Well, as a as a uh, former world's heavyweight champion yourself and a uh, certified tough guy, I got to know how you feel about. Tyrus defending the world's championship against EC3 in a bull rope match. I actually don't, I guess that graphic's not updated. That's my bad. But, uh, and if Tyrus doesn't win, he retires. And it's, it's, I mean, you've got the, the, the monster uh, against one of the best professional wrestlers in the world. It's, it's the fans. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Jax, we certainly appreciate these bold choices you're making here and uh, some picks out of nowhere. I mean, what it, what, it, what it boils down to is this pay-per-view is loaded top to bottom, night one and night two. Um, it's it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I'm excited. 
to see what NWA 75 has for myself. I mean, NWA 74, I lost the national title, interference with Crimson. Um, NWA 73 in St. Louis is, is, is where I dumped Crimson on his head on the ladder mm -hmm. um, out of nowhere when the Dana event was born. So I love St. Louis. I love the venue. I love the pay-per-view. I love the atmosphere. I love the fans there. Um, I despise the commentary team. Ring announcers okay. Danny deals is garbage. But it, it's good. Hey, what did Danny ever do? Yeah. He, <laughs> I brought you back in the end of it. You're, you're right. You did. He left me out there to get beat up by that thug, Tim Storm. And just see how happy he is now about that thing you helped him do. <laughs> but one thing we've certainly established is the fans will win at NWA 75. So you want to make sure to go to nwatix.com, get your tickets there, fight is where the pay-per-view's at. You can get a bundle, great deal for both nights. You can watch them back-to-back -back live. Just like I want to make sure there's a bunch of deals there, too. In yeah, the there you tank go. tops. I'll have some there. Schmedium. 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 Oh, you like stretching them out, obviously. Wow. Yeah, I like Even it. Kyle does the large. Wait, well, I also know? don't have the chest and shoulders to stretch it out. Oh, it just hangs good. on me. There's a picture somewhere that you may not know about, Jax. That, that oh, no. Of, of, of <laughs> Kyle. Of, wait. It's going with Kyle took uh, Man, I the turned Dana Vitt's jacket. On my jacket, my sunglasses. Uh, oh, I've never seen the real photo of that, by the way. And I, I mean, it was like looking in one of them funhouse mirrors where it takes something absolutely magnificent and shrinks it down into something you can't even figure out what the I've seen that photo. That's exactly what that is. But, I definitely feel like a funhouse mirror of you just distorted. And I'm like, man, every now and then I look in the mirror and I think that's what's going to be looking back at me. And then I look and I go, shit, I'm not Jack's Dax, Dax, a Southern Six shirt. I'm not even Dax Jane. Let me, that's, Alex. Alex. that's your boy, Alex. Get Jax. Alex Taylor's only reason for being a professional wrestler so he can be friends with Jax Dane. That's True it. Fun. I can believe that. That's true. What a reason, no, I mean, valid. True or false? That's the only reason Alex Taylor is a pro wrestler. That's what he told me. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe you can uh, comp Jack's a uh, Southern Six. I need a dish rag. There you go. <laughs> I don't have any Tim Storm shirts available for that. The perfect storm. Deals. Uh, where where are the Jack Stain shirts, by the way, in the NWA shop? They're coming when he gives me a design. We've talked about it before. Don't get crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Just <laughs> throwing that out there. Yeah. Well, uh, in fact, the Deals House is also the Jack's promo house. I was like, oh, factual statement. Yeah. Alex Taylor says that's partially true and to meet chicks. <laughs> <laughs> So on brand, but, but being my friend will make you meet chicks more than being a pro wrestler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Point, Alex. That was the number one reason. Yeah. Right. Maybe you should gift uh, Jack Stane a Southern Six shirt. Um, but you know, this guy wants Alex Taylor versus Jack Stane at NWA oh. seventy-five. You want to watch Alex die? He wants the death <laughs> of Alex Taylor? Jack, you're gonna have to get one of those suits and run in the the, the hot gimmick to drop some weight. To Junior heavyweight. <laughs> don't do that because we want Alex's soul to stay inside. <laughs> we don't want one of them running. Yeah, well, while we're here, on a serious note, big shout out and love to G's. Um, yes. Send them good energy, positive vibes. We miss G's. We want G's back with us as soon as possible. Yeah, and that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, his uh, the GoFundMe that was set up by his family is still there, and it's you can click on the link in our uh, any of our social media profiles. There's a, a button for Jesus uh, GoFundMe if you have it uh, that you can do it. It would be cool to donate uh, ongoing medical expenses there. We do miss Jesus for sure. Um, right? Yeah, of course. The only reason I thought of Jesus was because of that pop the trunk I hit him with. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't deserve that. Brothers is trying to be a <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, uh, Mr. Dane, thank you so much for for spending all this time with us. You went out of your way and even ran through the whole 75 card with us. So that was cool to get another person's perspective on that, an expert opinion on those. So I appreciate you guys having me. Um, first class company, first class place to wrestle, first class pay-per-view, first class commentary, ring announcer, everybody. It's a good place to be. Except Tim Storm. <laughs> Just a little bit. He'll get over it. The fans <laughs> win. That's true. That's, At least they that's always what he's will. Trying to say. All right, Mr. Dane, thank you so much for your time, sir. And we will uh, see you. Uh, well, you're going to be competing soon in the next uh, couple of weeks, I'm sure, or something. Well, I don't have anything for 75. So if Galley could put in a call to, to Mr. Corgan, I'd like to have something to do that night. Or maybe I just do like I did at 73 and just make my presence felt. Who's going to stop uh, me? It, it could be bad news. Galley gets it right now. Who's going to stop? Him? Who's going to stop Jack's name? The answer, nobody. That is Godzilla, ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the NWA live stream. And uh, Mr. Dave, thanks again. And you have a good rest of your night, sir. We appreciate your time. Thanks, fellas. Gary, right. I didn't want to stop the progress of this interview, but your microphone is definitely. <sighs> oh, is it? Yeah, you sound all echoey now. I don't know what happened. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, nice. Saban just sent me one of the photos yeah, that I've the never... I just saw it in the text thread. That's funny. That's fantastic. Uh, truthfully, though, I've never seen the actual posed photos from that that match exactly what he's doing, but this is what we were talking about. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, Pretty yeah, there it is. Oh, there Ibot it is. has the photo of... Uh, yeah. Ibot, if you email it over, I can uh, throw it up on the uh, screen here, too. Kyle already uh, did. Oh, Kyle did? He did. He just threw oh. it up there. I just put it on. You, 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 well, you can't really. There's a lot of reflection we'll get, we'll get out there. Version. We'll get a proper version for the fans. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Look at those there two guys. Fans always win. Look, look at those that two old power shirt. Shirt. How old yeah. is yeah. We can mostly see a reflection on it's Kyle's it's computer it's screen. And it's I hope you can't see any of those stuff on my computer screen. Oh! <laughs> That's what I was worried about, <laughs> Kyle. Word docs? Not yeah, to not to. Very, yeah, actually, very big fan of this interview. He really is the date of it. I agree. Jack's date is God the, forbid you find out that Turbo Floyd has applied for a Missouri state wrestling license. I'm surprised he has that ability, but pleasantly, <laughs> pleasantly surprised. Hey, That's listen, Dave. those those Miami guys know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, they, they've got a better life than me. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Jack Sane running for office on the Fans Win platform. That's a good platform. To I think that's a great platform. Hey. Deals, shirt idea, NWA, the fans always win. <laughs> yeah, fans always win. There you go. Hold on. What do you think, Gary? Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, Why is it a little dark in there, Gary? Is it? You yeah, got well, the like switch. Listen, I use the low happens? light mode. I use the low light mode on my computer, or like the dark background. Yeah, I'm just so saying you I got the echoey screen. microphone. It's dark lit in there. You're like on your third record where you're getting all, you know. Deep. Getting all moody. Yeah, yeah. No Look more at that. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. I know why I don't look that way anymore. It's these great spicy pineapple flavored jalapeno Doritos. <laughs> I, I wish Doritos. I don't think I've sponsor. ever seen Jack Dave smile, so I can't believe he, he lived. was very amused at seeing a very tiny version of himself. Hey, was that oh, I got, Atlanta? That looks like an Atlanta photo. I gotta grow that beard back. I actually like that look. Wait, that's actually he, Skyway. That's yeah, Skyway. Skyway. That's the locker room oh, behind okay. him. Yeah. Uh, Habon says it was last year's Crockett Cup loop. Do you yeah, know what actually. that kind of looks like? It looks like Chris Stilvio stole my gimmick. Chris Stilvio? Chris Stilvio looks like he saw this photo and said, I want to look like that guy. <laughs> Kyle Davis dressed Kyle up as Davis Jack Stane. <laughs> yep. Interesting. All right. Well, no, it was. You have it, folks. He's he saw smiled it here. When Exclusive. He smiled when I dressed up like Tim's mother and made fun of him. Oh, by the way, James Richardson, you are absolutely right. I bought these on a on a rib just to see what spicy pineapple jalapeno flavored Doritos taste like. They are not good. Oh, yeah. guys, oh. Uh, <laughs> we got to talk about NWA Power before this uh, thing goes too far Let's off the rails. Also, also. I figure before we head into that, I know that last week's segment was a big hit. So we're back with. Uh, oh, please tell me it's not Rush Freeman telling a story time again. Oh, it is. It's time for story <laughs> time <laughs> with. Gary, I'm gonna let you off. I'm gonna you gotta, you gotta clear I'm these sorry. with. Show them. Come on, man. 
You know what? Now I'm gonna Hello there. This is Rush Freeman, and this is another installment of Storytime with Rush. Today, I thought about talking about my first heartbreak, since Kyle Davis broke my heart today, but I thought I would talk about my first head injury instead. So I don't know how many I've had, probably not too many, but first one I ever had, we were at a pep assembly in high school. I played eight-man football for the Rejoice Eagles in uh, Owasso, Oklahoma, and it was our first year as a team. We were terrible, and we had nine players that played. And at the pep assembly, they blindfolded a bunch of the players and made us run across the basketball court for the amusement of the kids. And there's eggs all over, and you had to make it all the way across without crushing eggs. And anyway, I wanted to win this race because I'm a natural competitor. And I sprinted to the other side while everyone else is two-stepping real carefully. And, sorry, it's windy. But anyway, I ran all the way across and there was no one to catch me on the other side and there was no protective wall or anything. So I ran head first, blindfolded, straight into a brick wall. Immediately a goose egg forms on my head and my knee followed through and my knee punched right into the wall. So I now had a head injury and a knee injury in the same day. The game was that night and we didn't have enough players for me to back out. So I had to play with a head injury and a knee injury. And I played every single down of that game. That was my first head injury, and there's probably been many more that have followed. So thank you for listening. All right. You know what? <laughs> I'd open this bag of spicy sweet chili Doritos because these are delicious and it's a purple bag. And I thought this will get the taste out of my mouth of the weird pineapple jalapeno ones. Well, let me tell you something. After watching Storytime with Rush, jalapeno pineapple Doritos make much more sense and also don't require as many chips to get the taste out of your mouth. Man, I'm sorry I broke your heart today, but you just are basically telling us every week on why you're you're not that smart. It's either head injuries or I was watching sitcoms and didn't graduate elementary school or like what? Head injury I mean, and a knee injury, Kyle. I don't know what yeah. the problem is. I think that the uh, story time with Rush segment is going to be a hit. And we are giving new life to Rush Freeman. I know for a fact he filmed that this afternoon now because he made a comment about something I told him earlier today that was out of my hands. I didn't mean to break your heart, but man... Jeez. Well, at least you made the deadline. Fishing accident. I, uh, yeah, I, I messaged him this afternoon. I said, we get another story today. He said, yeah, I'll send you one. He's like, I just had some news. I'm team Joe now. You can tell. Rush. You he can tell. Me. I get Rush. He gets Jax. Great. Rush is one of the most lovable human beings you will ever meet, though. He has this innocence about him that is really actually very endearing and, and very something I wish I could have. And obviously, women very much are drawn to that because, you know, have that beautiful Rush, Rush is a very, let's face it, he's never going to be lonely. We got Amy nope. on our side here. I think I think we keep pushing Amy and just we we story time with Rush is going to is a perfect new segment for the live stream. It's a hit. <laughs> All right. What happened, what, happened to the what happened to the power rundown here? We're going to do the power rundown right now. Let's start with, uh, let's see here. We got this matchup Chris Adonis. Whoa. Image. Whoa. Dak Draper. Triple threat. That's happening. Fun fact. Fun fact. I've seen damage without a mask on, and I can tell you, even though he's the one you can't see, I'm the most handsome out of all three of them. He's a good looking dude. Oh, interesting. How do you think the other guys would <laughs> feel about that? <laughs> that is just the old, like, Gary's version of go oh, fuck yourself. Mm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably that's code for mm, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. My <laughs> God, <laughs> my my edibles hitting right now. That was perfect. <laughs> oh. Who we got in that match, Gary? Who we got winning? All right, let's pull it back up here. I'm going to say, I mean, look, 
if I'm Chris Adonis, I am angry right now. I took Tyrus to the limit. He barely, he barely got past Chris Adonis uh, with a with an intelligent, great championship win. But Chris Adonis has got to be looking at the title picture right now and saying, like, why am why am I not back in it? I want to get as many wins and prove I am still the top guy of this company. He needs a win right here. So I think your pick is that the fans win. Gotcha. All right, next one. I got a dunk. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Joe? Why? Why does he hate me? I was saying that. I'm scary. Joe, Joe, did you also have a little piece of candy earlier? I did, and I think it's finally... <laughs> Nice. Okay. Well, uh, next on the list, how about this? <laughs> Dave Marquez for president? What the hell is that in the chat? What is going on right now? Uh, James Richardson, Chris Adonis is the future NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I find that hard to disagree with, James Richardson. Let's talk about this match. Robert Anthony. Rookie sensation Robert Anthony making his, his NWA, trying to go up the ladder, a fresh new face. Eric Jackson giving him the rub by being his tag team partner. Yeah, Robira and Enrique versus Fodder and Joseph Alonzo. Yeah, also, cool. remember Joe Alonzo versus Homicide coming up, where Joe Alonzo will just have to be named Statistic. Indeed. Well, yeah, that's a good point. What do you got I winning like here, Joe? That, that was interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> it means homicide's going to kill him, so he's just going to be a statistic. I, I know that uh, Kyle was like have a little fun here with the, the rookie, Robert Anthony. Robert Anthony is, is an incredible uh, veteran from the Chicago area, and he's got an awful lot of heat with Joe Alonzo. Yeah. Uh, they don't like each other at all, so I think they're just going to be beating each other up on the outside, so it's going to come down to Fodder and Eric Jackson in the ring. And Psycho Boy's got his Psycho Girl and the Psycho Stick. That's just too much for anybody to handle, even the distraction Eric Jackson. So I'm going with Fodsky. Indeed. Uh, I agree. All right. Expert well, uh, yeah. Expert analysis. What about this? How do you how do you even begin here with this week on NWA? Oh, wow. What? Versus Judas. Who so made it a mission match? match. How two things the gimp can he even say I quit and two will he even not want to take all the punishment I mean that was I'm just gonna do some right kinky now. stuff you can't make a dude submit who's into pain you'll be there all day Joe's tried goddamn right wait a minute <laughs> all right well uh we're keeping <laughs> I'm going with Frank and Barry here I, I don't think gags can hang out that's just me. Oh, I don't know. A lot of people are uh, gags. But how fans does, how does, chat, he, quit? does so he talk? He's never talked. Can he even he can say tap? I'm... He can tap. Oh, I guess uh, I can tell you that Gags' tongue is sticking out right now because he is craving the flavor that is flaming hot barbecue ruffles right now. How Our many first... fucking chips do you have? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. God, you've no, I, I, I was going to, right at this time, I wanted to point out Jesus saves says that Judas is going to destroy Gags. I'm sure he's not pleased with your attitudes right now, though. Uh, anyway. I'm still concerned with the amount of chips that Kyle's got in his house. These are really good. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm already two chips past that conversation about jalapeno <laughs> pineapple Doritos. <laughs> Carrie Taylor wants to know, Joe, can the NWA come to Oklahoma City in October? Oh, I think you emailed me about that. Hold on. Is Carrie Taylor actually Rush Freeman? Because we were That's debating this. That's why I didn't respond to the email, because I thought it was like a Rush Freeman burner account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're someone pretending to be a fan. That's not a joke. Well. I want this guy to know, or this woman, or this Rush Freeman, that there's literally an email that says $5. I bet you it's Rush Freeman that just sent this email. I was gonna say, don't don't count him out yet. It's it's it still could be Rush Freeman. And sorry, Carrie, that's something Rush Freeman would say. <laughs> <laughs> I know OKC tests their uh, tornado <laughs> horns in the middle of the day because that happened once when I was there unloading a truck. Like and Cosmic we, Joe's. We ran for the hills. Hey Joe. Cosmic Joe's theory that you gag is correct. <laughs> <laughs> this is special sauce, limited edition. 
Do you Good just Lord. like not have a pantry and all has to be next to your bed? What no, you no. They're downstairs in the pantry. These are just the snack flavors that are in the oh, room. Hell, no way. No way. I used to date a girl that told me she had a snack drawer in her bedroom. And I was like, instead of being horrified, I went, that's a great idea. Because then you don't have to leave the room to go get snacks. I think she was talking about her vagina and you missed the signal. Oh, I got the signal. I got. want to see my snack drawer in my bedroom? Come on. All right. How about this, Kyle? You got a big segment on... Uh, in oh, that that was a yeah, this, is it. this isn't love phone. Yeah. Look at yeah. how Cola, well, Cola I look. Oh, I should stop eating chips now. Just show me pictures of myself and I'll be like, ugh, never mind. Yeah, you're going to have to... Koa, Koa, Koa and Elise are in very good shape, both of them. Go you relax. Be in your best shape tomorrow night as you are going to speak with them. Do you have any idea what you're going to You're opening another bag of chips. <laughs> These are kettle cooked potato chips. <laughs> all over your 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 Can your we cake. get one of these as a sponsor before we just give this all for free? <sighs> My god. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, what are you going to talk to Koa and Kelis about? Chips. Hopefully, hopefully dieting things. Obviously chips. <laughs> No, so the issue is is that last time we saw Koa, he was very much disrespected by Kerry Morton, which obviously everybody knows Kerry Morton is very disrespecting as of late. And his uh, assistant, his valet, uh, I think, let's be honest, it's the person he's having a fun relationship with. She was disrespected, and now I'm going to get to the answer about what he plans on doing about that disrespect. We all love the Southern Six, but sometimes lines are crossed now. This episode on WA Power, Cola Loxamana. Well, he might step up to the plate and make him pay for that. In a segment sponsored by Doritos. All right. Uh, we hope. See what else I got here. Oh I know that's oh. not it, Gary. I know that's well, not the last. We have, we have a main event. We have a big match to announce, but I'm going to let him finish doing whatever it is he's about to do here. Starburst minis. Sometimes you want to not have to unwrap your Starburst. And you want them in little mini form? Well, there you go. This is all the pinks. I do appreciate that he went from salty to sweet. At least he changed the flavor profile. Sometimes you got to mix it up, I guess. So, yeah. That's good. All right. Well, if I may, tomorrow night's main event on power is must see because you want to see Angelina Love challenge Kenzie Whoa. Page for the NWA World Women's Television Championship. This is, this is what you're going to want to see. Angelina Love, a multi-time champion all over the world. Going up against Kizzy Page, who is a champion and a great athlete, but, I mean, you know, she's still young. She's still she's still getting her feet under her as far as her overall career goes. And is she going to be able to hang with Angelina Love? Uh, that's going to be tough. I, I love some Kenzie, but Angel is a KG veteran. All I know is that both these competitors are going to go together like caramel and chocolate. It's going to be a great combination that everybody's going to be a fan of, much like these Rolos that now I'm snacking on. You ever put Rolos in the freezer? Yes. Great idea. Also Oreos. Mm-hmm. Put mm, butter on got part? Angelina Love winning tomorrow. This is a debate. New the I like this. Listen, listen. Angelina Love has been a champion almost everywhere she's ever been. So let's face it. It's going to happen sooner or later. Who's to say it won't happen in power tomorrow night? I like the love that Kinsey Page is getting, though. Pam with the ultimate choice, though. The fans will win. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Thank you. Pam, Chris Adonis cannot win this match. All right. Anyway. The fans will win. The fans will win. uh, FTW. Yeah. That's not what Taz used to mean. It's it's for Uh, the win. uh, Yeah. For the win. Brother. I thought it was the other one. Yeah. Yeah, So did I. (laughs) <laughs> Francisco, could Kinsey bear Camille? I, if I think she could live, bear. She could even platypus her. Okay. Uh, oh God. What is happening? Kyle, you're high. It's, high, damn high. It, it said, could she bear instead of beat? I was just pointing out. I'd like All right. to ask our uh, you fans. Know what? fans yeah, the, I, can we ask our fans in the chat real quick? Let's do an intervention on Kyle, who's obviously stoned out of his goddamn mind eating a pound of snacks. Yeah. It's a dangerous path. It's going to lead to weight pain and depression. So uh, my neck and my back hair. kept killing me the last two days. So right now I'm actually trying to make it so my back feels better. And it's working. Now, if only my spinal column was proper. My back is broken. 
I've got spinal stenosis. I've got curvature of the spine. I've got two torn shoulders. I've got carpal tunnel. I've got and this. I've got that. Snack drawer. You got a snack drawer. Yeah, that's right. Put up his photo again. You want to see the uh, the Kyle Jack Stade picture? Look at that guy. Hey, that, that that should be on your OnlyFans, Kyle. You know what? I wish I was confident enough to have an OnlyFans, but I think I look like garbage. Meanwhile, we'll stick with the OnlyFans with like Chris Silvio and those guys. He does have one of those. Well, meaty. To put that over here, I'm sure Jack Stay would prefer Chris Silvio concentrate on managing uh, their team of like, the Savage. Very on but... fire tonight! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking dying. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Kyle needs to get in the ring at 75. That's what no, we're doing. No, I will get in the ring and I'll hold the microphone and I'll ask some questions and put a dumb look on my face. And also, I'll have a new jacket on because we've got new color jackets for Ooh. NWA 75, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Then I like it. Like it. Got it better than us. Of design, you'll have to tune in to find out. Well, while you're waiting for the uh, new colors of the jackets, how about a moment of style? Rush Freeman and him, both, same camera setup. Just wind in the middle of nowhere. It is very windy. Although, hey, Kyle, nobody... you to get back in the ring. How about this? Next Crockett Cup, you can start training now. You and Sugarfoot in the next Crockett Cup. You guys oh, tag. wow. You guys tag back up. Like, I wish I was as talented and as handsome as Simon Miller is. Somebody made a comment in the chat. I, uh... I, I'm I, my only disappointment with the show tonight, besides uh, half of the team being high, is the uh, <laughs> is uh, that nobody talking. complimented the uh, I don't rush. Know my eyes are. I got Freeman song. I Look mean, how blue my eyes are. I found this song about Rush. Yeah, play it. Now. Who holds the book like that? Who holds the book like that? It is weird. Well, A, he doesn't know how to read. But B, I just realized when you played that, it literally at one point goes, we're going to feel the rush tonight? Yeah. It's it, we're going to turn it up, going to feel that rush, going to feel that rush. Wait, is it copyrighted? Who that song? You? Did Violet uh, J make that song for Rush Freeman? No. It was uh, it was on YouTube. <laughs> like uh, we just have to it, it, the monetization for like that segment of song has to be shared with them. So that's but, really what's going on. You want to hear just, it? Again? No. Oh, you want to hear catchy? I could play something very catchy for you, but I don't think I'm supposed to yet. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll yeah, I love I love it. We'll play it. Uh, don't do it, guys. I'm talking about play. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true, David. It's it's I mean, it it can be monetized potentially. The the the, the channel's monetized, so Man, know. Rush Freeman just he's managed to permeate all of the National Wrestling Alliance in ways that he'll never know. Oh, Gary, don't we have that other graphic, that brand, brand new one that we could bring up? Oh, yeah. Uh, the one that Rush Freeman isn't on. Um, oh, <laughs> no. um, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, you saw that email then. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, what they're talking it. about, World is a Fire Tour. <laughs> is uh, coming up. You're going to be able to see the NWA along with the Smashing Pumpkins, Interpol. It's going to be a great show. Thursday, 8-17 in Huntsville, Alabama. Saturday, 8-19 West Palm Beach, Florida. Then in Tampa, Florida the very next night on 8-22. 
Charlotte, North Carolina. That's North right Carolina, down the road. Baby. Yeah, North uh, Kakalaki. Is that what they call it? Kakalaki? No, Kakalaki. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and those are the stars. I assume these are all the people that are going to be on there. Well, there can yes. always be surprises. Just like Jack Stane shows up and beats people up wherever he wants. There's plenty of other people, especially that are relatively close to these uh these cities here. Last time we were part of the World is a Vampire Tour, we spent three weeks in Australia. The Southern Six came together, found each other, fell in love, started a whole thing. What will happen this time? Will Daisy Kill become a Southern gentleman, a country gentleman? Will Kenzie Page join Tom Latimer? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just rambling. The Southern Six and the country gentleman. I mean, Kenzie used to be in the Southern Six, if you remember right. And she's well, also pretty empowered. I, I have the books. I know. Yeah. You've got the, yeah. I'm the president of the Texas chapter. I have, you, can, you can only you can only be in so many groups at once. So the the biggest interesting aspect of this to me is you know Tom Latimer, TV champion. Obviously, these aren't going to be televised. We will be filming some footage that should appear in later episodes of NWA programming. We're hoping to, but Tom Latimer, TV champion. This is just about a week and a half before NWA 75. Same thing with EC3. You know, there's some big stakes. Camille, here we are. Our champions are going to be on the road touring, living the lifestyle with a rock band for several days. Uh, I would think that this is one of those tours I'd rather not be on because, you know, with a big match, big show, big two-night event, 75th anniversary coming up, I'd want to be well-rested. But, you know, anything could happen, and who knows? you got to be there to find out, folks. Music, wrestling, what a combination. And Joe and Kyle will be there, too. Ain't that going to be fun? Oh, Whoop, whoop. At least somebody responsible will be there. By the way, I enjoyed the whoop whoop thing. Somebody had a great post the other day when it turned out it was ICP. They said, <clears throat> somehow the best possible outcome has actually happened. Because apparently whoop whoop has so many connotations. People got yeah, real worried. When I saw whoop. that, the first thing I thought of was insane clown posse. What else? Same. Yeah, Same. I did too. Your what generation. Else? I guess. Well, yeah, I, I didn't know. But that's such an old, I, uh, that's such a nineties, you know, whoop whoop. That's why I was like, so who chicken hunting, we's going chicken hunting. But I was just like, who they, who they talk about? Whoop, there it is. Maybe they thought it was uh, tag team back again. Remember? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Early nineties. I've been to people's <laughs> weddings. That song gets played. Yeah. Oh, oh the whoop whoop. Yeah. yeah I yeah. always uh, when they I put my hip, my hip when you dip, I dip, we dip. Yes. I all sorts of wedding songs. When they said tag team back again, I was always like, back from where? Like what? It's the only song I You're right. I right. agree. <laughs> Joe, when we're at your wedding and you're busy focusing on getting married, and I'm busy focusing on just trying to enjoy myself, uh, can we get some of those fun songs? <laughs> uh, the just trying one? to hook up with the bridal <laughs> party. <laughs> no. Me and Gary are gonna crash it. We're gonna crash the reception. We are. We're just gonna. We're just. <laughs> I'll, gonna leave, I'll leave a couple extra plates for you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. We had a great crowd, great chat going on there. Sorry I couldn't get to everybody. This is awesome. Whoop that uh, trick. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, that that's from Hustle it. and Flow, baby. Yeah. Uh, I love that. I love it that. is? Oh, well, I, AJ Gray used to come out to it. Whoop that trick, right? That's the only reason I know it. Oh, yeah. 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 But Hustle mm. and Flow, yeah. Uh, no. Like, What's Hustle and Flow? Oh. Yeah. Danny Deals has never been convicted of a crime. I find that hard to believe. What are you talking I, about? Number one, who said that? Two, what are you saying that for? <laughs> I know. I, I may or may not be looking at a, a license that was put in for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's probably time for us to cut out. Thanks for everybody being here. This has been awesome. Thank you. Hope Tell everybody, come back next week. We're going to be on here Monday night again, 7 o'clock. Joe Galley, you uh, potentially are going to be talking to EC3 on Instagram live. Well, that's right. Uh, tomorrow, just before power, so let's say at probably 535, give me about a half hour. Is that Central or Eastern? EC3, uh, that'd be Eastern. Eastern. Uh, so just like about a half hour before we go live with uh, NWA Power and on the YouTube channel, I will be talking to EC3, and he will be having a response to Tyrus's challenge. But if you follow EC3 on social media, he's made it pretty clear what that response is going to be. And next week, the show will be on the rails because I actually won't be here. I just remembered. So. Bye. I'll be in Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen. Taylor Swift with Pam? Because that would Taylor be amazing. Oh, man. I'd be Taylor Swift is a damn good show. No, I will be attending a double funeral service on Monday. We're doing a twofer. <laughs> yeah. 
we're, we're wrapping up the damn show, and then you're done shoveling carbs into your damn mouth. You're going to bum everyone out with not one, but two family yeah. members who are dead. They were older. They lived good lives. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody, again. We love you guys. And until next week, please 